In this short video tutorial, we're going to see some options in Smart Notebook to import content in from other programs like PowerPoint, as well as options to export content from Smart Notebook back to PowerPoint or even into PDF. We're also going to see a feature known as Print to Notebook that will allow you to bring content in from programs other than PowerPoint. So here on my screen, you'll see that I have a blank notebook file open. We're going to begin with how to import content into Smart Notebook. And you'll see that I have notebook open because I don't actually begin an import by opening the file that I want to import. I begin importing by opening a blank notebook file. And then I go to File in the menu, and I choose this option, Import. Now this is going to open up my file browser for me to locate a file that I would like to import into Smart Notebook. And as I said a moment ago, your option for this is going to be PowerPoint. So here I have a PowerPoint. It takes about 30 seconds to import in a file. Uh, you'll notice at the bottom of my screen, PowerPoint opens, and then it brings it up on the screen so that it can preview all of the content in this PowerPoint file. And once it is finished previewing, it is going to close PowerPoint, and we'll see that all of these slides have come into Smart Notebook software. So there we have PowerPoint closing, and here we see that the import is complete. So if I open up my Page Sorter tab, you'll see all of the slides that previewed through in PowerPoint are now here in Smart Notebook. It even brought in the theme. All of the text on the page is editable, so if I need to, I can change the title add new graphics, change any of the content that is included in this PowerPoint now that it is here in Smart Notebook. And of course, if I go up to File and choose Save, I'm saving what was a PowerPoint as a Smart Notebook file. Please be aware that any animations that you had in PowerPoint will not work when you import it into Smart Notebook. So at this point, we're going to transition away from importing into Smart Notebook, and we're going to talk about exporting from Smart Notebook. So here we have a file that was created originally inside of Smart Notebook, and the same thing, the process to export begins here in Notebook. I'm going to go back to File, and I'm going to choose Export As. And you'll see in the pop-out that we have several different options. I can export this as a web page. I can save it as image files, PowerPoint, PDF, or something called a CFF as well. If I choose, for example, PowerPoint, you'll see that it opens up my file browser for me to select where I would like to save that file to. But if I choose to export it to PDF, I get a few options. So let me go back to this export and show you what it looks like if you export to PDF. So it's asking me what I want the actual PDF to look like. Do I want each of the slides in Smart Notebook to be a small thumbnail, or I can change them to the larger size thumbnails, or even to a full page where each slide from the notebook file would take up a single sheet of paper. Then you have some of the options that are similar if you go to print a PowerPoint, where I can export it to PDF where the slides are on the left, then there are lines on the right for notes, and again, the full page option. Do I want to include a header and then a date at the bottom? And if I'm happy with the settings that are here, I can go ahead and click Save, and once again, it's going to open up my file browser for me to select where I would like to save this to. And I'll click Save. And again, it just takes a few seconds for it to export the content to PDF or PowerPoint being the most common. Um, once again, if you had any animations or any flash objects in your Smart Notebook file, they will not export and play in PowerPoint when you get it there. So the final thing that I'd like to talk about in this video is what you can do with your other lesson resources. For example, things like your Word documents and PDFs that you have for instruction. If you want to add those into Smart Notebook, import is not an option. But what you can use is a feature called Print to Notebook. And it's called Print to Notebook because you will actually find it among your printers. 
So here I have a Word document open, and I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to choose Print in my menu as though I were going to print a hard copy of this. But instead of sending it to my standard printer, I'm going to select among the printers that are installed on this computer, and I will find one called the Smart Notebook Document Writer. I'm going to select that one, and then I'm going to click Print. And in a moment, it's going to give me an option for how I would like this content to be added to Smart Notebook. The option at the top says that I can print it to Smart Notebook where it will be loaded on this computer. The second is to add it into what's called the Notebook Player app. And then the option at the bottom is to create a link to this document that would be added into a notebook file. So I'm going to select Print to Notebook. So you'll see that it adds each page from this Word document into a Smart Notebook file as a separate page. Once again, we can see that the content that was added here is basically a screenshot of what was in the Word document, so it won't be editable here in Smart Notebook. If I needed to make a change to something, if I realized there was a spelling mistake uh, here in the content, I would need to go back and edit it in the Word document and then reprint it into Smart Notebook.